Hi and welcome to my third video in the series about carbohydrates and today we're going to look at polysaccharides. Um, so the first polysaccharide we have to know about is starch. Um, and starch is a storage molecule found in plants um, and it comprises of two types of other carbohydrates. Amylose, um, which comprises 20% of it, and amylopectin um, comprises about 80% of it. Amylose um, is quite compact and therefore can be stored in high quantities. Um, Amylopectin is much, much more branched um, and is used for quick energy release because the, because of the branching, it means that the glucose um, can be quickly um, separated off. Both of these types of molecules, amylose and amylopectin, are both got the um, monosaccharide glucose as their constituent. So this is a diagram um, of amylopectin and you can see that there's a number of alpha 1,4 glycosidic bonds and also um, the alpha 1 to 6 glycosidic bonds. The 1 to 6 glycosidic bonds give it a much more branched structure and the fact that it's more branched means that you can quickly cleave off um, one of the glucoses so it can be used in respiration quickly. Um, and so amylopectin is hugely branched and you can hydrolyse it much more quickly so condensation is how you put together monosaccharides, hydrolysis um, is how you split them apart and lysis actually means to split. Um, the alpha glucose molecules are joined by a 1 and 4 glycosidic bond um, and there are alpha 1 to 6 branches every 20 to 30 monomers um, and again like I said before the fact that it's more branched means that you can quickly um, break it down and so you can get the glucose quickly so that the plant can respire. Now glycogen is a storage molecule found within humans and so whereas plants have starch, humans have glycogen. Um, and it's the same subunit, so it's essentially glucose again. Um, and it's stored within, within the muscles and also within the liver. You've got big stores of it there. Um, and it can be very, very quickly broken down um, because of its hugely branched structure. So it has a lot more um, 1 and 6 glycosidic bonds. And so there it's got such a hugely branched structure so that you can um, break it down very, very quickly. Um, and therefore release energy quickly. This is obviously important in animals because animals require um, energy at a quicker rate. So if you think about the actions that animals take that, rather, that plants do not, things like um, movement, things like brain activity, they require a lot more um, glucose um, quickly. Now the reason why organisms store things like glycogen and starch is the fact that they are insoluble. Whereas monosaccharides um, are soluble in liquids, glycogen and starch are not. And this makes them very, very useful because they don't affect osmotic balance and therefore they don't affect the water um, potential and therefore water doesn't move in or out of cells due to high levels of glycogen or starch.